In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to add text in Illustrator. All right, so text. Well, there's actually a type tool. Press T, that's the shortcut key. Over here, it's a big T in your toolbar. And if you click and hold on it, we actually have some different type options. Type tool, area type tool, which we'll show you how to do that. And then you can type on a path. You can also do vertical text and vertical text on a path. And then the touch type tool, which I don't really use or I've never really used, but some of these others like type on a path are pretty handy. Let's take a look at the basic type tool first. You could press T for that basic type tool and then just click on your document and you can add in some text just by typing. Now we can change a few things with this text in the latest version of Illustrator. I mean, since like CC 2017, so it's been a while. You actually have a properties panel over here on the right and we can adjust the fill color of our text, which is essentially the color of our text. We can adjust if there's an outlined stroke on our font. We can adjust the opacity, and then we have a character panel. Inside the character panel, we can change the font itself. So maybe I want this to be the font, and you can change the style of it if you have like bold or thin or black or different weights to the font. You can also change the font size. So we can click and bump that up. We can type in a specific point like 200 and press enter. And now our text is a lot bigger. We can adjust the spacing between lines. We can adjust the kerning and tracking. So this would be like the space between letters. If we hold shift while we click these, it'll do larger increments like by 10 instead of by one. So we can click these up and down just like that. I'm gonna keep it at zero. And we also have three dots down here for more options. There's a lot more options, like you can do all caps, or you can do the small caps, or superscript and subscript. A lot of different options in here. Now let me show you something else. We do have par paragraph options down here, so you could center the text or align it to the right, etc. Uh, that looked weird, but that's just because it's moving like the anchor point of the text. You would just move the whole piece of text after. But we have, so we have all these panels over here in the properties panel, but you also can pull out individual panels for character and paragraph. So we go up to window and we could go down to, let's see if we have paragraph. No, we're gonna have text in here. Yeah, we have a type uh, category and then we have character and paragraph. So we go to character and that's our character panel and it actually pulled open a couple here. So it might pull open like the paragraph with it. We could dock this panel into our toolbar just by holding it or hovering it over here and then letting go. So now we have character and paragraph that we can pop out right there in case you're not on your properties panel. But also I like using these panels because I can click on this hamburger menu and show options. And now this character panel is much larger and it's not condensed like it is in the properties panel. Also this little, this is kind of the same as the three dots over here, but we also have some more options inside of this menu here. And then we have all of these options here to adjust our text, adjust the angle of our text, superscript or subscript by a certain amount of points, just lots of different options. And then in the paragraph panel, same thing. We can show and hide options uh, just like that right there. And also there's a hyphenate. So if you don't want to have hyphens in your text, you can undo the hyphenation here. And of course you can align it certain ways. We can also justify it, but that works better with text boxes not point type. Now, what did I just say? Well, point type is when you just click on your canvas. And actually when you type text now, it just keeps going on forever and ever and ever. Let's zoom out really quick. I'm gonna select my selection tool and then just press Command or Control minus. You see how my text just kept going in a horizontal line? It's gonna keep doing that forever until I press the return key to make a new line. So that's like adding your own little custom paragraph breaks you don't just have to do that. You can actually add a text box. So let's bring this type up here and come back to our uh, artboard out here. Now, instead of, so pressing T for the type tool, you, you do that, but then instead of just clicking, we can actually click and drag, and that creates a text box. This is what is called area type. So there's point type, which is just clicking on your canvas and then typing forever horizontally until you do custom paragraph breaks. And then there's text box, which is like creating text within the bounds of a text box. So the text will wrap. And my text is giant, so we can drop this down in size a little bit. 
You can also fill it with uh, sample text. So this is lorem ipsum. It filled it with as much as it could at that font size. But if I highlighted that and go up to my type dropdown, I can actually go to fill with placeholder text. And I can add a little bit more text in here. Now, if we grab the selection tool, we can move this text box around. We can scale it up and down from the corners just like that. This little red plus icon is indicating that there is more text inside this text box that's called overset text. It's text that goes beyond the frame that it can't show anymore. Or we can drag it this way and bring it uh, larger so that it fits all of our text. Now with the text box, this is where you can see things like justification and alignment a little bit better than with point type. Because now I have a line left, but if I, could, if I did align center, we can see it align it to the center of the text box and align it to the right of the text box or justify. So like justify aligns it, well, in this case, justify left would align it to the left, but also kind of space the text out so it goes all the way across the text box. That looks a lot better with a lot smaller type, just an FYI. <laughs> Otherwise you get these big spaces in between the text there. So we can have it aligned left. We can go into our options and make a lot of different adjustments. With paragraph, or I'm sorry, with area type, uh, the line spacing comes into play a little bit more. I'm gonna hold shift so that goes a little higher so you can actually see the adjustment in the line spacing there. We can bring it up and down. So when I have an actual a paragraph of text out here. You can see line spacing and some of these other options a little better. We see we have a hyphen here. So underneath the paragraph text options, we can turn off the hyphen. So you can make sure that you know you don't get that hyphenation unless you want it. We can also switch text boxes to point type and back and forth. And in fact, there's a whole type drop down menu. And let's take a look at the options in that menu. Hopefully this, I know you're probably a beginner if you're looking to add text in Illustrator, but hopefully this has been pretty helpful in explaining the different types of uh, ways to add text here. So we go up to the type dropdown. We can adjust our font and size. We can add glyphs. We can convert if we have a um, text box selected or point type selected, we can convert it to one or the other, which will like add a, a text box to point type or it'll remove the text box and just make this point type. We also have area type options. So within a text box, since we have a text box defined, we can actually align it different ways and also adjust, like for instance, the width and height of the text box. If you had something specific you wanted, you can add rows and columns to your text boxes. You can even offset, so you can do inset spacing on your text box, kind of like padding of your text box. We can align it to the top, bottom, or center vertically. So this would, you know, allow you to vertically align a paragraph or a, you know, a little block of paragraph text inside of your text box. And you can also adjust the text flow and how the, the text flows through text boxes. There's also an auto size option which will expand the text box as you type more. You might be used to that in something like PowerPoint, for instance. You can preview all these options while you're making those adjustments, which I recommend turning that on. It might be on by default anyway, so you can see what exactly you're adjusting by adjusting any of these values in here. You can press OK. Let's go back up to that type dropdown. We have uh, find and replace, so we can find and replace fonts in our document we can change the case so if you want to change like uppercase lowercase title case you can do that there we got some smart punctuation options create outlines is going to turn your text into shapes you cannot go back so unless you know what you're doing with that one don't worry about doing that um, we have optical margin alignment that's kind of an advanced thing to get things lined up a little bit better we actually have bullets and numbering so you can apply bullets to paragraph text and just press you know, the return key to make new bullets, just like you would in any word processor. That's kind of a recent addition. We can also insert special characters. You saw fill with placeholder text earlier, uh, showing hidden characters and also type orientation. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, right? So how about the basics? Well, the basics are here in the properties panel pretty easily. Want to change the font right there, size right there. Want to change the color? Easy, change the color just like that. 
Now we'd never added a stroke, so let's take a look at what the stroke options are. Let's add a five point stroke just by typing in five to here. And you can see it added that stroke to our text. Now I don't believe we can add, yeah, you can't really align the stroke to the inside or the outside of your text unless you do some interesting things with it. Uh, you know, it can work and I show you that workaround in a different tutorial. I will link it in the description down below. So if you wanted the outline to go to the outside of your font, uh, you can do that. The issue is like as you expand this, you can see how the outline starts to cover up what you actually have filled in your font, but you could put that outline to the outside. It's just not available right here as easily, um, but that's what adding a stroke to your font would look like. Most of the time, I'm sure it's probably zero. You're just not adding a stroke in there at all. And that is how you can add text here in Adobe Illustrator.